any person who occupies the position of Republican president has a duty and responsibility to deliver to the expectations of the people. And here, we are not talking about exceptional um, uh, performance, no. We are just talking about basic performance. We are talking about someone being able to deliver electricity to the people so that the people can do their jobs. If Haka Inde Ichirema is failing to do that simple job and he is failing to put on the table a tangible plan of action of how he is going to end road shedding, then he has no business continuing being in state house. He has no business continuing being in state house. It means that he is not useful to the Zambian people. And when someone is not useful, it means that they are useless. So we have a president in this country who is useless, who is failing to do his basic duties. And yet you and I, countrymen and women, we continue to fund his lifestyle. We continue to buy fuel for his motorcade, which has to move from state house to community house every day. We continue to fund his foreign trips. And yet on his side, he's failing to do his basic job. He's failing to discharge his basic responsibilities. We have someone in state house who is not useful to the people of this country. We have a president in state house who is useless. So the question then becomes, what is the point of continuing to keep a useless president in state house? A president who cannot solve the basic problems of the Zambian people. A president who cannot uh, give hope to the Zambian people in terms of when and how the problem of road shedding is going to be resolved. The president was given an opportunity to address the nation on the issue of road shedding. He is talking about traveling to Abu Dhabi to go and uh, uh, attract investors to come and invest in the energy sector of Zambia. Is that an immediate solution to, that, to the problem at hand? We have an urgent problem of road shedding, which cannot be resolved in the next 10 years or 15 years. That is too far. We need immediate solutions. We need immediate solutions to the problem of road shedding. People need to make a living out of their lives. Without electricity, people are not able to make a living. So you can clearly see there, countrymen and women, that there is a total disconnect between President Haka Inde Ichirema's mindset and the problems that this country faces. When we have a problem of continued road shedding, his solution is that he will travel to Abu Dhabi to go and attract investment into the energy sector. When is that going to materialize? Your investment is akabwera liti kuno kuzambia. Kuti malaiti road shedding isire. Is a shitikality. So you can see that tili na president mo office zero zake na kuganiza kwake siviri in tandem with him a problem ya mene yali popano paziko. If my problem is many areas, but it requires immediate solutions. President Agai Nechile was supposed to give us solutions which should be implemented in the next two, three days, maximum one week. Maximum one week. When we talk about no road shedding, it's like twelve hours. I talk exactly about saying I'm not twelve hours road shedding, but it's a much that Malaiti ya bwera zero 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 one. Ya enda 05 then ya bwera futa 18 hours ya enda 01 is that a solution is that a solution is that a solution it's not a solution to the problems and challenges the zambian people are facing so we have a president in office who has clearly failed to deliver to discharge his basic responsibilities and when a person fails to do their job it means that they are useless in that position so we have a useless president occupying state house. And the question should be, why should he continue occupying state house when he cannot do his job? What is the point of having a president who cannot do his job and he continues to occupy state house? He's supposed to vacate state house so that in state house Muja, we put another person who can do the job and do it properly. 
President Nakarinda Ichilema has got no moral right to continue being in State House. He has no moral right to continue being driven in those luxurious vehicles, in that motorcade. He has no moral right when he is failing to do his job. He has no moral right whatsoever. He has no moral right to continue doing and enjoying the presidency when he is failing to discharge the basic responsibilities that come with being a president. He has no moral right whatsoever. That is why he needs to resign and resign immediately. The reason that he needs to resign, there are 10 reasons basically. There are 10 reasons why Haka Ndechilema must resign immediately. The first reason is that he is useless. That is reason number one. He is a useless president. Reason number two, why he needs to go, why he must leave office, is because he is not useful. He is not useful at all. The third reason why he must go is because he is useless. Again, he is useless for the second time. The fourth reason why he must go is that he is not useful again for the second time. The third, the fifth reason, number five reason why Hakai in the Afunikoshita resigned as president is because he is useless for the third time. Third time useless. He is not able to do his job. He is useless. Number five, number six, he is useless again. He is useless. He is not useful to the people of this country. He is not useful. He is useless. So he must go. Number eight, again, he is useless. He is useless. Completely useless. Number eight reason. Number nine, he is very, very useless. He is not useful to this country. Not at all. He must go. He is not useful at all. He is useless. Very useless. Number ten uh, reason why he must go is that he, he is totally, totally useless. He is not able to do his basic functions. Why should we keep a person in state house, we are funding Tim Gurira Vakudia Gunumba Kwake Kuja, taxpayers Vam Gurira breakfast, Akudia, Akudia breakfast, Tim Gurira lunch, Akudia, Akudia lunch, Akudia lunch, Tim Gurira supper, Tim Gurira taxpayers of this country, Tim Gurira supper, every Akudia, fuel Tim Ikira Motoka, Tim Ikira Motoka, every day we get fuel for him, Tim Gurira fuel, Vovara Vamenavara Masuti, Tim Gurira. Taxpayers of this country, Tim Gurira Masuj, but ever Kamuza Uti Iwe President Haka in the Ichirema, do something for us, the people of this country. Tipase Marait, give us electricity so that we can work. Stipe Mbandarama, we are not asking for a handout. Uh -uh. Tipase Ndarama, it is the seven zero. Tipase Ndarama, it is the seven zero. Haka Ngiwa, Kutipase Marait, and he's not giving us hope. So why should we have a useless president? Wamele tijesa, tijesa breakfast, tijesa lunch, tijesa supper, timpasa, timgurira vovara, timgurira masuj. And yet he is useless times 10. He is useless times 10. And yet he continues to occupy the office of president of the Republic of Zambia. He is useless. He needs to leave office. So that tikeko mtu winango, wamene, if the country sacrifices, if the taxpayers wish to sacrifice, ati, then Tim Gurira breakfast to your president. Tifuni can I say this to benefit? Ati Gurira and Shito. Ati Gurira and Shito. Tikam Gurira president breakfast. Add your breakfast. Akuta member. Ya tukumuka. Akuta breakfast. Out of taxpayers of this country. Akuta breakfast. Tam Gurira. Afuni can I ever in the office? Agwira and Shito. Agwira and Shito to the benefit of us, the Zambian people, us, the taxpayers who feed him. The taxpayers wa meti mgurira breakfast kuti adye kuseni. Ma taxpayers wa meti mgurira uh, lunch kuti adye kuseni. Uh, Muzua. Eh? Iise ma taxpayers wa meti mgurira sapa kuti adye. Agone buino. Afu ni kanaeva kainda kwa office president akwira nshito yake. Stinga zi mgurira ti mgesa hai naeve mbovu zitu kumoka bata kainda kwa office akangi wa kugwira nshito. Akangi wa kusiri za road shedding. This is the president of Wabuanju. This is a useless president. He must go. What is the point of you and I, countrymen and women, of keeping a useless president in office? Why should we keep a useless president in office? A president who is failing to end road shedding. What is the point? 
What is the point? There is no point. He must go so that Kiseko winango. Ngati ni mamtare na rumango na eve tzawa esako. Na eve baka kangiwa basvaende or they should call for early elections. Let them call for early elections so that the people should vote again. And we see who the Zambian people can vote for. Otherwise, with regards to Mr. Hakainde Ichirema, he has no business to continue being in State House. He has no business to continue being in State House because he has failed to discharge his basic mandate. Nshito ya mkanga. Hakainde Ichirema, nshito ya mkanga. Ukakangi wa nshito, ufu nika Notati, ungo kujia kuseni, ukujia vakujia, vakugurira ma taxpayers breakfast free of charge. Ketesi of the Republic of Zambia. Vakujiesa, wadia breakfast kuseni. Muzuwa, wadia breakfast, vakujiesa. Mazuro, vakujiesa, iwe ungo nyopora, bati, sufu na kugwira nchito ya mene wandu, wafu na kutu wagwirire as president of the Republic of Zambia. Then what kind of a person are you? What kind of a person are you? You need to leave office immediately because you have failed to do your job. You have failed to end road shedding. People are suffering because they are failing to work. You understand? You can't just be wagwirira wagwirira mpando at no ndine president. Wagwirira mpando at no ndine president. But who can't wagwira nchito yao president? Then what kind of a president are you? You need to vacate that seat so that when I'm going to the job that you are failing to do. You can't say you are president, but you are failing to do your basic job. You are totally failing to do your basic job. Road shedding you want to, wakufa na njala manumba omu. Wama welding, wama chani, once a business ya imirira. Iwe ndepe uka mba tino, I'll go and I engage my investors kwa Abu Dhabi, waka shito, waka borrow shita invest in the energy sector. What kind of reasoning is that? You need to go. You need to pack and go. So I'm calling on President Haka in the to resign immediately. If he has any ounce of decency in him, he needs to resign. And the reasons for resigning are the 10 reasons that we have given. He is useless. He is useless. He is very useless. He is extremely useless. He is totally useless. And he is extremely useless. He needs to go. He has failed to do his job. He has failed to do his job. The Zambian people gave him a chance. And Zoriri Ajin and the person who presidents, the Zambian people listened to his cries. They gave him a job to be president of the Republic of Zambia. But ever since he came into office, it is disaster after disaster after disaster after disaster. And in each of those disasters, such to apologize. Mind him to branch. Wapanga mistake, but you can't apologize. You are failing to do your job. You are failing to apologize. Even in 2015, at the highest level of road shedding in the previous government, still on 12 hours of road shedding. Never. It has never happened. Eh? How can it be that one minute you are saying road shedding in Asira, which means water level, you say water level, and then two or three weeks later, you come back, no, we need it. Uh, maximum road shedding. Nishi Manzi Mudam, we are not branch. How did the water finish in the dam within three weeks? Anna Maboza. So he's not even a truthful person. Ali Pechirungamo. Ali Pechirungamo. Muntu, Angapanga president, even in, in a short tempo, when you make me your president one day, I'll be, I'll, I'll make a, a few mistakes here and there. But when I make a mistake, I'll come to you, the Zambian people, and say, Look, my people, I've made a mistake here. Going forward, this is how I will correct this mistake. Maonaka, kuribe president wamene sanga pange mistake. Each and every president that will sit in state house will make a mistake at some point. But the bottom line is that mufu nika mundu wachirungamo. You need an honest person in his state house so that when they make a mistake, they should do acknowledge. They should acknowledge that I've made a mistake. They should go to the people and tell the people that I've made a mistake. I'm sorry. Going forward, this is how we are going to correct this mistake. That is what you need. An honest person in the position of President of the Republic of Zambia. What we have at the moment is not only a useless president, but also a dishonest president. A very dishonest president. Muntu Ali shameless. Someone who is shameless. Ali, Ali Ben Sony, 
ali na boza hilo boza yake ali bena yonsoni boza yake we have a very dishonest president who is not only incompetent but boza muntu or wapanga mistake ngati ndio wachirunga mo you are telling the people the truth you are being honest to the people then the people will understand the people will understand to say no our president has made a mistake on this particular matter and this is how he intends to correct the mistake not to amuntu you you make blunders blunder after blunder if it is not the farming input blunder it is the road shedding blunder you make blunder after blunder but you are also dishonest you are not muntu wa chirungamo sindi wa muntu wa chirungamo you are a liar you are a cheat you understand that is the challenge we have with the president hakainde ichirema he is not only incompetent imukanga sikuti imukanga cha benchito kugwira a a but imukanga kugwira chito but futi chirungamo alibe alibe chirungamo some of no kamba vintu va straight ana maboza from one right to the other no lot shedding is because of water in the kariba how did the water level change in kariba in three weeks from uh, no lot shedding ending lot shedding to four hours lot shedding within three weeks Manzi ya sira bwanji anga sira bwanji within three weeks so you can tell that uyu muntu ana maboza he is lying to the zambian people alewe pobufi alewe pobufi so we have a useless president in state house but who is also a liar and a cheat he has no business being in state house the people of this country have got um, no obligation to continue feeding tikazim gesa ewe akudia mu state house moja akuta ba mazambians taxpayers money ba mgurira matibo on every day akudia akuta akudia akuta every day akudia akuta but safu no pasa ma rights to the zambian people kuti na wewe wakazizi sevenzera wakazidia na wewe mazambians wakuteku what kind of a leader is that what kind of a leader is that he is a totally useless president we have a completely useless person occupying the position of republican president in this country and he must resign his position immediately he must resign his position immediately talemanae talemanae we've been very patient but talemanae kulipe kwa mnyat pereka he's taking us nowhere because he's a useless person he's not useful at all completely useless completely useless he has the opportunity to do what is right to help the zambian people come out of poverty but he is pushing the zambian people deeper and deeper into poverty awa ngenesa awa fikira munjara mazambians awa fikira munjara awa fikira awa kukumbira kamgodi no awa fikira munjara we can't have a president like that he needs to go and someone needs to tell him and i have decided to be that person to tell him that haka inde ichirema you must go because you are failing to do your job you have failed to do your job the Zambian people gave you an opportunity. You failed to do your job. You have failed to do your job. Go. You are a useless person. You are completely useless. You've got no business continuing being president of the Republic of Zambia. You are completely useless. You must go.